Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Final Fantasy XII. Let's get back to playing video games! Um, it's been a long time, so I do not remember anything that I am doing. But, um, I check my license board. Um, they're pretty much max. Uh, let's see, toggle board. Yeah, everyone's just pretty much done. I just haven't assigned any summons to anyone. I just want to see where all the summons pop up on their boards when I get them. Uh, let's see. So, looks like I did a bit of exploring. Uh, what was the fast forward button? Yeah, I don't even remember the fast forward button. Oh, how do I fast forward? There we go, L2. But seriously, I don't know where I'm going. Fun times! Look at me being a pro. Okay, so straight northeast, so you go this way. Hey, Chocobo! Oh, nice! First battle line, level up instantly. Magic! Um, do I really want to waste time fighting these guys? I guess I do, because Vaughn leveled up. Wait, who's that? Archaeosaur! Ouch, why are you hurting me? Might as well get this treasure chest. Get it. Okay, high potion. I get Nope, running away from birds. I'm so glad I have at least one long-ranged character in my party so that I can get birds, but... Maybe I should equip Fran with a bow since I did her um, second class as I don't remember the name. Pro status, me. Go. Why does it say... Oh, that's from the map, because I was like, why does it say Ood on the top right of the map? I mean, top left of the map. I'm still so out of it. Uh... Don't worry, I'll get back into this get things quick enough. But for now, let's kill all these dudes! Um, yeah, hit me. There you go. Ouch, these guys actually hurt. Am I? I thought I was overpowered because I'm super high level. Oh no, that's only the abilities I can do. Their levels are still low, like around the 40s. Oh well, let's move on. So last thing I remember was a uh, save point anyway. Save current game. Yes, please. So we're moving on to Arcades to go after Dr. Sid, if I remember. Correctly, and I hope I do. I don't know how far we are from the end of the game because I, I think Doctor Sid is. Whoa, hello, Vieras. To meet another Viera here. You too have left the wood. Heck yeah, I have left where I desire freedom. Had I remained, surely perish. Freedom to me is like care itself. Um. Okay, thanks for that riveting conversation. Uh, I hope this is the right way. It's northeast. Cheetah Uplands. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. How else? Whoa! Okay. Corals in this game look so freaky. They look like they have tumorous growths on their head. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um. Also, where is the map for this area? I guess it's good that. What, right when I'm starting back up again, it's a lot of exploration, just to get me used to like the battle system again. I'm immune to what? Oh, probably to silence. Most of oh, hello. He has a little crown on his head. That's really cute. Aww. But they're still really creepy. Look at all their eyes. Ooh, disgusting. 117 experience. Ha, ah, nice. But I came up here for absolutely no reason. Mm -hmm. So, were, was there supposed to be doing something particular in this area, or is it just straight to the labs? Uh, looks like there's somewhere I can go here. I hope I'm going the right way. 
Yeah. Yeah, I have to be because northeast. In the previous map, I couldn't go north or east anymore. <laughs> that core looked like it was like gonna take a poop. Okay. By the way, I think I'm starting to get a cold because it was super hot in California last week. Yeah, last week. And then it just started to get really cold again. Like, it was super foggy and gray this morning. The weather's so weird now. But anyways, more interesting, more interesting stuff. I just realized in my backlog, well in my last vlog I said I wanted to play Persona 4 and I wanted to play Ultimate Games. I just looked in my closet to like organize some stuff and I found Dragon Guard 3 and No More Heroes. The thing is I have never played Dragon Guard 3 even though I did play both Nier games and I've never played No More Heroes but I got the game because the character designer was um... Oh man what other game did he do? It was something recent. It wasn't for Nier, I don't think. Was it for um, the character designer for what the heck? Utterly worthless, just like every hunter my father employs. I'm a hunter. So K Palace? Uh, sure. What? Oh, it's the tiny dudes. Hail hunters of all ages. And it will not be listening to Clan Fire. Sure, I'll do it anyway. East of here you come to the highlands. North of there lies a field of eternity. Where I could be found an entrance to the Okay. Intriguing, no? Uh, but was refused! Substitute to the social palace. Pity they were worthless. I waited with my father. Their employer. In rage, I gave shape. Aren't you just a kid? Why are you talking so much? Defeat this monstrosity. Oh, the respect I earned back in Arcades. You are a pompous kid, man. No coming back until you slay in it. I'll come back whenever the freak I want to. The hunt begins for three question marks. Maybe I'll try this out. But for now, I need to interact with this. But yeah, it was the Fire Emblem games. The, the art dude for Fire Emblem, I think... Fates? And maybe Awakening? But he did the art for No More Heroes, so I was like, hey, I really like the art style, so might as well check it out. So those two games are for PS3, so I'm like, maybe I'll play them. But I really do want to at least get through Persona 4 first. Maybe, maybe I'll just play two games at the same time. Um, I'll do... I'll do, um, Persona 4 and maybe Dragon Guard 3 at the same time. Because I, at least I know the lore of the Dragon Guard world. Yeah, because No More Heroes 3 is going to be my first time completely blind. Like, I have no idea about anything in that game. So it might take me a longer time to do that. And then Ultima games, I thought I would play it blind first thing on the channel, but you know, since I don't really know Japanese that well, maybe I should play through them on my own first before I play it on the channel. Just so that I have a better idea of what goes on, because sometimes there are many games that are involved. And there are a lot of these that Yeah, sorry that I'm like just talking to myself and planning my future game. Where are my dudes? Hello, guys. Do you want to join me? I guess not. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys! What happened to following the leader's targets? You jerks. You douchebags. Ugh. Okay, so now I have a plan of what I will be playing on my channel. Maybe it'll be like every other week I'll play the other game. Just to keep it new and fresh and exciting. 
There we go. Okay. But that also depends on when I finish Final Fantasy XII. Oh no, I've been sapped! There's gotta be an item that deals with sap, right? Um, except for remedies. I wanna save as many of those as I can. Oil, so let's not confuse. Nope, I guess not. I'm sapped forever. Does the spell work? Does Asuna work? Do I even have Asuna? Magics, light magic. No, I do not. Um, does Vaughn? I know he learned some. Yeah! Oh, he doesn't have Asuna. Never mind. Bye. Oh, here. Cave, right? And then this should be. You will now have the option of saving your game. Is it gonna be something super dangerous? I'm gonna save over oh, I can save there. Yeah. Ugh. My things look so weird whenever I put on headphones. Oh well, that's life. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm in the right area because cutscene. And I don't remember this from the main game actually. Nah. So maybe this. こんなところとって本当に手と抜けるのか。こんなところだから見つからないのさ。堂々と歩いてって、テートの門を叩く度胸はないんでね。So you're an interesting kid, Vaughn. <laughs> That's why you didn't notice. No, I kind of want to look for the... Look for the dudes. Because this is the way to Arcadia. Right? Um, wait, it's not listed in Clan Primer. Eh. Um, shoot, okay. I wanted to move on with the story, but I really want to deal with- Wait! Sochi Cave Palace! Yeah! So it is on our way. He said it was not Sochi, right? Oh well, too late now! I'm going! <laughs> Are these, like, mummies? Zombies? Actual people? Is there a treasure chest in here? Whoa! A fat bird! Petrified! Petrified! Uh, uh. Petrify! No! Items, please! Uh, what was it? Gold needle, me! Do I not have a petrify, um... Gambit on? I guess I don't, but petrify is something dangerous and terrifying. Well, I guess that's why I always have my second party members to switch to, and ooh, that's a minefield. Hey, hey, get the frogs. Get the frogs! Hey. Level up all again already? Is that how weak I am? Maybe I should spend time just leveling up. Because I'm done with the license boards. Uh, nothing there. Ugh, too many dead ends, too many paths. Anything in here? Yeah, treasure chest. I'm peeking around all of the paths because I'm hoping one of them will have an urn with a complete map. It doesn't look like any of them have it though. Kill them all! Kill them dead! Kill the bird! Before he petrifies us. Why did you heal yourself? Did you were you hurt? Alas, not a map. Okay, palace. So this is the right place. But then why were they talking about going to Arc- Is this a secret way into Arcades? Are there multiple ways into Arcades? The Sochin Cave Palace. Why would you build a cap- palace inside a cave. Like, aren't you worried about... They're so cute! <gasps> He's running to catch up! Freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. 
if anyone is carving jack-o'-lanterns, they should make one after the pumpkin dude. I'm- I'm not gonna... Can you just focus on one dude? Okay, he has poison. Kill the power blue king. Whoa, he's fast. Why are you running away? Come here, sucker. Is that it? Am I- Oh, okay. The heck? Wait, Vaughn is silenced? I should unsilence him. I think I have a healing gambit on him. Uh, and then kill this dude. Onion Queen? Do they rank up? Are they all different monsters? Is that why they more keep appearing? Did you kill him? No, that was it. Okay. Are they all after, like, plants? Pumpkin, onion, tomato, mandragora is just a plant. Then what's the last one? Ghosts. Spooky scary Halloween! I really don't remember this from the first time I played the game. Is it really optional? Is this optional or do I have to do it? Either way, it was super easy and it was really cute. Too bad I won't get any experience from that battle. Why do we not get experience from boss battles? Freaking sucks. Wait, so then do I go back to the kid? Ugh. You know what? I'll get all the treasures. I will go back to the kid. Let's see if he does anything. Or gives me anything special. If he doesn't, I will be pretty mad. Because he made me walk all the way back for absolutely no reason. That's not the way out. I am good at directions. No, I'm not. Hopefully he'll be just waiting outside right here. Okay, after this part, he'll be waiting outside. <laughs> Looks like I still have a lot of leveling to do. I got pretty hurt, man. No, stop! Don't fight! Actually, I will go this way because less traps. Oh, this area has some pretty nice music. Very haunting. Who has stop? Anyways. Adventure time! Kid, please be right out here. Screw you, kid! I hate you! Uh, now to walk all the way back. Fun times. At least I didn't do too much other exploring, so... Oh wait, and there's also a freaking exclamation point by the save stone. To tell me where he is. Ran, you want to heal both here too? He's pretty hurt. I really thought I had a heal gambit on Vaughn. I'm gonna double check it. Gambit, Vaughn. Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah, he is Kira. Okay, you know what? I would love to kill dudes, but time's a wasted. I want to get to doing things, and I'm pretty sure enemies at a later level will give me... I'm gonna save just in case. But yeah, enemies at a later location should give me more experience. So I won't waste my, too much time with these small fry right now. It's weird how, like, in video games, once you play a long time ago, wait, to so defeat this man is not bad at all. Oh, you just go, you might have a place where you are. How's that? No, thank you. A thousand, that's it? And three remedies? You! I pity your feet. I should be going home soon. In a private airship, of course. Screw you, you mother flippin' douchebags. After all the work I did for you. Wow. 
But anyways, um, to my previous thought, it's just an, it's interesting how you always remember the beginning of games. Like I can tell you, Final Fantasy VII. You start off in the train. It's the bombing mission, and you blow up a Mako Mako reactor. And like Final Fantasy V, uh, butts and ah, and Bogo. You're traveling and you find, um, what's her face? Lena? Yeah, like, I could tell you the beginnings of games. I can't tell you the ending as clearly as I remember the beginnings, and especially the middle parts. When they're like, oh yeah, I remember going to this town and doing this thing. I'm like, no. Like, Final Fantasy VIII, I played that game, like, three, four times. And I couldn't tell you what happens in the middle of the game. I know at one point they go... They go to a... A super technological city? Estar? I couldn't tell you why though. I don't remember the sequence of events. So like Final Fantasy XII, whole beginning, like the whole part with Rex and everything, I'm just like, oh of course that happened. I don't... I have no idea what goes on now. The only thing I know is I'm getting close to the end. I just don't know when I will reach it. That is Kaven. That's why I'm kind of looking forward to doing um, Dragon Guard 3 and No More Heroes because I haven't played them before. Ah, trap! And. Treasure, I figured. That was a rejuvenation trap. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mana font. Why are these traps healing me? Is this a trick? Hey, it's a save crystal! It's not a save crystal! <laughs> Oh, that scared me! I was like, why is it not appearing and why is something spilling water on me? Well, thank you for ruining my hopes and dreams. Uh, you suck. Is this an actual safe crystal? Okay, thank you. You're gonna trick me? Nope. Hello, press X. I know how to push buttons. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing a game that I have no idea what happens. It's been a while since I'm playing it. Seriously, my hair looks so bad. What the heck? It's only when I put on headphones. Anyways, whatever. I should stop fussing on my look and just keep playing the game. But yeah, like, near Automata, I had no idea what was going to happen, and I was pleasantly surprised. So, like, I want to have that shock again. Like, oh my gosh, this game is mind-blowing! Because Final Fantasy XII, I know the basic gist of the story. Um, when I play Fa Persona 4 again, I know the story. So I know what to expect. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it, games are so great. People ask me why I love watching movies and why I love playing video games. It's because... I mean, I guess movies are more passive, but like... This person wants to show their point of view of something to you, and within a movie, they're like, you have to get everything, a good story, good plot, good characters, down, like, perfectly within a two-hour limit. So you have to know how to tell the really good parts of the story, and to get your meaning across in a thoughtful, like, beautiful way. And so I want to see how people tell those stories to me and how I can experience the story. And in video games, I mean, they're still laying out a story for you, but you go at your own pace, at your own time. It has an urn! And, like, you get to take your time to experience the world, go exploring if you want to. I mean, the game sets some limits for you. They say, hey, accomplish this thing so you can move on to the next part. But, you know, you could set up your own additional rules and restrictions like, oh, hey, this says to be level whatever, but I'm going to go at a lower level, or I'm not going to use this ability. And it's just, 
games are so great. And plus, like, you get to see what kind of world people think of. The different battle systems. And like, this is the lore of the world. This is what's understood by everybody and is normal to them. But to you, like, this is the new way we use magic or technology. This is what, how we, like, this is the different, oh, okay, I can't go that way. Like, these are the different races and societies in the world. Like, I don't know. Video games is just so interesting because you get to explore so many things and... <laughs> Like, you see how they develop different plants, different creatures. You get to see how characters grow around, like, with you and- OH MY GOSH! <laughs> oh, that scared me! Holy crap! It was just a thing with a block of something on his face! Wait, who's attacking me? I'm gonna go through all the doors just just because. But oh man, that was terrifying. <laughs> okay, not so terrifying. But yeah. Uh, games are Yeah, what the freak is on his face? That is scary. Games are amazing and great, and I and because I know Dragon Guard 3 is directed by Yoko Taro, I know it's going to wreck me up emotionally just as near and near Automata did, so looking forward to that. I mean, I do have a basic knowledge of the characters, and I'll pretty. I think I'll just say all of this again when I actually start playing Dragon Guard 3, but. I have basic knowledge of the world, basic knowledge of the characters. I don't know everything in depth though. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, was there a point? Oh yeah, I want to see if there was treasure here. Ah! Vaughn! Can you help cure? Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Treasure chest. Only 76 kill. What the freak? Ugh. Final Fantasy XII! Let's go! I'm almost done with you! <laughs> I really don't remember this part of the game! I don't remember these creatures. I don't remember anything about Ar Arcades. I know what the deal with Dr. Sid is, but... Getting there... Is interesting. Is there gonna be a boss? It's a pretty open room. Hey, I think there's gonna be a boss. Bring it, bring it, bring it on, bring it on. I thought I would have a tough time getting back into the swing of recording videos. What the freak is that? But no, it's been pretty good. Um, I'm just worried that I'm gonna get too tired, so. I think this week I'll only start off with two videos. Uh, but let's see how. Okay. Mist, quickening. Let's just. No available targets? What? Okay. Why did it say no available. There's. There's people. There's people and things. Well, no point in mist quickening now because. There's multiple targets. Can you attack? No available targets? Why? Okay, now I can. Well then. Thank you. Why is he hitting me? What the freak? That was a freaking cheap shot. This is what I don't like about Final Fantasy XII. Now I remember. In the last battle, I had like everyone casting flare. Terrible idea, I know. But it caused such a big lag because they were constantly casting flare that um, the final boss just kept attacking me and I eventually got a game over. And I was like, okay, I guess I shouldn't just keep spamming magic. So I only had Fran casting magic. 
I had Vaughn as my ninja with his katanas doing tons of combo damage, and then Ball Bear, I don't remember what I had him doing. But, ugh, that freaking lag. Why does it exist? It should not be there. I don't know, I don't remember if I mentioned this last time, I'm too lazy to go back into my old videos and look, but um, I did manage to get the trophy for all of the quickening finishers. Okay, this will be my last one and then I'm done, because I'm pretty sure at this point he's dead, and if he's not, that sucks for me. But yeah, getting the quickening finishers, it was a pain, because the last one I had to get was Whiteout, and that was you had to do... Four level three quickenings, and uh, I did manage to get four level three quickenings every time I tried a battle. But I would also do a certain number of um, level three quickenings, or level two quickenings. So it always do some other finisher. And I was like, freaking damn it! Uh, but I'm so glad I got that done and over with. And I don't, I don't. That wasn't enough? Two level threes, two level twos, and two level ones weren't enough to finish Ariman? Really? Well, I guess the bosses are getting harder. Something to know for next time. He's been doomed! Immobilize Ga? What the freak is Immobilize Ga? Never saw that before. Man, I thought all those quickenings would be enough to kill him, but it's not. I either have to level up more or just make my quickening chains longer. Ooh. I can sing. The best. I'm the best singer. Congratulations! Thank you! Only if you would give me experience for the boss fights. I'm pushing all the buttons and it's, the screen's not going away. Ugh. How do I get rid of the mobilize? Uh, silent stone, petrify, blind plant stone, sleep oil, slow and stop. But that's not. But this. Help? No, um... Vaughn, do you have the spell? Let's try... Okay, no available targets. Um, time magics? Uh, how do I get rid of immobilize? Uh, do I really have to use a remedy? Other I don't want to use remedies. But I guess I will. Uh Um Balthier I'll, I'll just wait for him to die and then revive him again. Sorry dude. Opening the door. We can do that. Freaking controls of this game still so finicky. I saw that trap. I'm not gonna fall for it. Oh, Fran, I love you and your black magic. Black mages are so amazing. I love black mages in games, but in an MMO RPG, I could never be a mage. I can't handle the casting time and. Yeah, casting time and picking a route for. Yeah, see, he's all healed up now. Yeah, and then picking a route for like which magic I want to level up first. I can't handle that. In MMORPGs, I love playing archers. They're the best. Give me the range. Wait, did you die again? I saw that Vaughn used another Phoenix down. What the heck? What? Anyways, heal us all again. And now we're good to go. Uh, to the left. There, I see a dead end, so there's kind of something there. Maybe? Level 40. Do you think that's a good enough... Okay. I guess if I... 
fall down or something. I don't want to fall down. But yeah, archers are awesome because you get to attack enemies from far away. And like less chance of you getting hurt. And if, especially if you boost your speed stat. Kill things super fast from far away. It's awesome. Music is peaceful. There is nothing here. You tricked me. Um... Activate the lift. Because this seems to be the only thing I can do. It's an elevator! We're going to the Chamber of the Faith! <laughs> this really- it really looks like the elevators from Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X, I think I played like seven or eight times. Yeah, about three times on the PS2. Three or four times on the PS2. And then I did the remastered version. Oh, is the elevator blocked forever? Hey, I see a teleport stone. Um, let's see. You know what? I think this is a good place to stop for this episode. It's a little bit shorter than what I'm than all of my previous episodes. What I'm used to, but I don't know if we're gonna run to a stream of cutscenes or if we're just gonna go into another dungeon. So, um, this is a safe place to stop for now. But yay! I'm back playing games. It's super fun and I'm super happy that I'm doing it. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty!